I'm Callan Hobman. Here's some of the stories making headlines. Affordable and avail available housing continues to be a concern in our community. To help with that, the county's housing voucher program is reopening after a decade of not taking applications. But with this comes a push to get more than just tenants involved. In Kern County, about 3,700 households receive assistance through the Section 8 program. But there are around 20,000 residents considered low income. The Housing Authority of Kern says once the applicant gets a voucher, which can take a while due to demand, the applicant has 60 days to have their current landlord take it or find a landlord that will. But the Housing Authority hopes it doesn't remain difficult. A big part of what we do is landlord education. Um, we want landlords to understand the program, understand the benefits of being a participating landlord. A large portion of the rent is coming directly from the housing authority on a monthly basis, deposited right into their bank accounts. Um, it's a huge financial incentive for them. The Housing Authority can help resolve tenant issues, which they say is another added benefit to the program. The application is open online through February 28th. We also have information on our website. Well, it's been an ongoing problem here in Kern County, illegal street racing. It came to light again after a Bakersfield teen died Wednesday. 19-year-old Bianca Flores was killed in a three-car crash at the scene of an illegal street race. These types of crashes are what Assemblymember Vince Fong has been working on through legislation, and it is now law. Fong says he wants to make sure no more families lose loved ones to street racing. There are resources now in place to help law enforcement and help community members make reports. I don't encourage anyone to try to follow or engage, uh, you know, someone who's engaging or who's participating in street racing. But if they see street racing occurring, if they see a sideshow uh, occurring, um, you know, you know, safety first, get out of that situation and then call the police. The law adds penalties for drivers in sideshows. According to legislation, drivers can have their license restricted or suspended up to six months. Even though the bill came into a law over a month ago, Fong says they're working to ensure those measures now. He says law enforcement agencies are having more patrol units to deter illegal street races, and they're also teaching parents and teachers for signs to look out for. Now let's switch gears and take a look at our weather forecast heading into our weekend. We're in those mid to upper 60s today and tomorrow. Same for Monday, but take a look at our extended forecast. We're generally in those low 70s for this coming week, and we are expecting, expecting those temperatures to stay with us throughout next weekend as well, going into Valentine's Day, which is that following Monday. So a nice warm week is on our way. As for our mountain communities, we're in those mid to lower 50s for Tehachapi and Fraser Park, mid 60s for Lake Isabella. Throughout the rest of this week, starting tomorrow, though, we're in those 60s and 70s, even a little warmer in those mid 50s and 60s by midweek. That's a look at what's making headlines. We'll have another update later today.